What's in my bits box, baby? Every once in a while, you gotta put stuff into the bits box. Oh, this is one hefty gun. Um, I I forget I forget where it came from. But uh, it's got a triple threat in the front. So some sort of uh, I don't know, grenade launcher or something or worse. So how do you have a bits box organized? Oh, I have this thing. This is one of those uh, containers that you get from Michael's big plastic case. Has a bunch of mini cases on the inside as soon as I open her up here. Super secure. So, for example, inside here I've got a bunch of uh, minis that I was working on, which are um, hey, these ones were from I'm trying to remember. It's one of those like Warlord games or something. I can't remember. Um, and then I've got a bunch of bits here that are wow. These look to be oh. This is some of that stuff from uh, those uh, yeah, Raging Heroes. Raging Heroes ladies. But yeah, Raging Heroes ladies in there. So, yeah. I have yet to put those guys together and uh, assemble them. They're very spindly and break very easily. This one here, I have a bunch of minis um, sorted. I gotta paint this dude one of these days. Uh, some of these are... Uh, hmm. I think that one's from a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Star, what's it called, Star Saga, Star Saga, this is one from, I think this one's hassle free, it could be a Reaper, Reaper hassle, hassle free, no, what is this, I can't read the bomb, must be a Reaper, must be a Reaper, oh look, we got the little mini, like uh, these guys are uh, some of the Warlord Games ones. This one here. Could be either a hassle free or a Reaper. Probably a Reaper. Yeah, made in China Reaper. Hassle frees are made in UK. Bunch of heads in there and some a uh, couple of robots that uh, need to be uh, fully uh, assembled. Those uh, robots are metal. I believe they are probably a hassle-free. I believe these are more of the Warlord games, I guess. Uh, I got a whole whack of them from Warlord and, as well as uh, Mantic.
more uh, things I need to assemble one of these days. What is this? I don't know. Still in a plastic bag and still unassembled. Um, bottoms, bottoms for some troops and some weapons. These are all metal. That might be from, yeah, it looks like stuff from uh, Mantic. This is some Mantic here. I don't know where this one's from. I have to assemble it to find out. I guess I will put this random bit in there for now. Next. Ah, uh, bits from, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. These are from, uh, Games Workshop. Um, some of the Necromonda guys. So, heads and stuff like that. I can still, you know, piece together some sort of freaks. So, that. like more warlord more warlord or mantic i can't recall i think these are warlord in here more warlord bits and stuff and guys that need to be assembled next this is yeah more warlord stuff and uh more bits Weapons and stuff like that. Always good to have. Once again, more Warlord game stuff. These uh, sprues that I have out here are Warlord games, but uh, I, these are the Concord uh, Troopers or something like that. This is uh, stuff from the Vic. Victoria Miniatures in Australia. These are all um, resin printed random head stuff like that. Um, I'll have to assemble some more of these guys. Uh, just some, you know, random bases. We have an empty box. So let me see if I can actually get, oh, the chat started here. Uh, because I really don't have the chat on right now. I know I'm going to have to uh, start, uh, putting on some more red on these guys so I have uh, I have that in mind today too get these guys uh, on their way to being done along with uh, my alternate force of mechs, which I'll just put them aside. I'm just clearing stuff off the top of my laptop because I kind of moved everything to go ahead and get this uh, nice clean sheet of uh, paper down. So you guys aren't always looking at a, at a splotchy uh, surface. So I use, I have two uh, types of nippers. These ones I use for metal. These ones I use for plastic. So, but I also use this for uh, cutting, uh, you know, wire for uh, different things. If I'm making stuff and I need some uh, wire pieces, and uh, using them in green stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
So this is, yeah, the Beyond the Gates of Antares. These are, what are they called? I forget the names of them. Uh, I just use them as, uh, you know, um, troops for uh, possibly Zodani or stuff like that. So I give them a, you know, they're, they're, they do have a name. But I can't remember them. Come on. Can't remember everything. Do have a bunch of these guys uh, partially assembled already. And uh, this is kind of just uh, uh, leftovers from, uh, from the sprues. So it's always good to keep these until the wife says enough oh. my wife stays out of my room here <laughs> she only comes in here if she needs to tell me something but uh, yeah I mean you gotta yeah get rid of um, any excess sprues that you have hanging around because man it's it piles up if you're not careful so this is a bit of a cleaning day for this kind of stuff if it's a tough spot for me to clip I usually just leave a, a, a tag off the Sprue still on the uh, weapon. Until I can pull out the right one that I want and then fully clean it off. Trim it with some proper tools because my eyesight, I mean I got pretty good eyesight since I had my lenses replaced uh, in my eyes. And, uh, but it's not a hundred percent. So even though I can read stuff like off uh, pres prescription bottles and stuff like that now, um, and my phone, which I was never used to be able to, I'd have to wear glasses. Um, it's, it's a vastly uh, improved since that. So, I still need to put on, uh, you know, stuff to, uh, you know, I need to put my uh, unit here on every once in a while. So, that's uh, handy to actually do some painting and, and see details. If I'm gaming and stuff, I don't need... I don't need the glasses or anything. I can read everything pretty much pretty fine. Except for super, super, super fine print. I mean, you know, smaller print than what you would see in uh, on a prescription bottle, like I say. Or instructions for aspirin or something like that, as if you need... Uh, instructions but they they have the such small print on those things this is bits are fun never know when they will come in handy but a lot of times what you snip is like you never use it so I might separate them out for uh, later if I never use them well I mean you could always just throw a bunch of them on eBay and see if somebody will pick them up Oh yeah, 
Now, I was getting ready to set up my chat to see if anybody is actually going to chat or say anything. It's not like... It's not like it's so lonely here. All right. Restore this guy. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely streaming, so. See if that works. Wow, we got. I just type test. Just to test things. I do have one drawer which has. Uh, a loose selection of minis. I think I should actually clean that out because it would just make more room for me to put uh, other stuff away and then I can fill this thing uh, my bit spin full of miniatures that I can work on later. I think I will do that too and uh, as I pull stuff out there might be something interesting that you see in there or something I don't know I'm just doing this because I gotta get it done and uh, I, I may as well broadcast it because you know it's it's a thing So I've been using Restream because it's free. So um, and able to uh, broadcast over uh, both Twitch and YouTube at the same time instead of me doing a Twitch stream and then having to push that video over to YouTube. This does it all at once and everybody gets to see it at the same time. So... Every, everybody should be happy like all two three of you now this um, I chop it down I do have a lot of it already so I can probably chop this stuff down and save it but I do have tons of it already so it's kind of debatable whether or not I want to uh, chop it to get rid of it maybe maybe I'll do that I'll have uh, a ton of sprue on eBay <laughs> just what people need so I'm just gonna go take this to the side here um, now these were the uh, minis that these were came from so uh, assemble these guys they are ready to be uh, um, painted up so for now they are uh, getting to stay into this little fine coffin here for a bit until I have time to actually uh, paint them there now I'm gonna go over to my drawer of stuff and uh, 
see what kind of I can pull out of there. This might be some interesting stuff. So some blisters of things. So we got dinosaurs. Oh, that one I already opened. And this one is a some town guards. Some more guards. And some more guards. Time for a new box to put these guys in. So this way I get rid of the, all the packaging and everything and I can organize stuff. So this will be fantasy, fantasy miniatures. So these guys go in there. I'm sure I have lots of them. And I got, I'm gonna have to pull that one out for uh, science fiction miniatures because I collect actually more science fiction miniatures than I do uh, fantasy miniatures just because uh, I, I just play a lot more um, I have more interest in science fiction miniatures so as in you know playing games like I love playing Traveler I mean, I'll play, um, I do have all the books for, um, uh, what's, it, what's it called, uh, Starfinder, but I'm not a big, uh, Starfinder fan, you know, I have all the books, right, but, uh, it's, it's just, eh, you know. Yeah. It's kind of like fantasy that's been science fictionized, <laughs> strangely enough. So, all this will be going into. First, I'm going to put it into a bag, and then it's going to be. Um, recycled. Oh, I thought I had just had a green bag over here. Where did I put it? Ah. Green bag for recycling. That's one small batch of stuff. Let's continue. Um, slods. Gray slot and death slot. Um, keep in mind, I've, these are probably a good year or so old, so. 
four more. So slods. Slods can be monsters in science fiction as well as uh, fantasy if you really wanted. Because uh, there's something that they don't hold any weapons in their hands, so yeah, it's uh, and they look like mean kind of alien kind of creatures that you could use. Um, these tribals, these are uh, from Iron Wind. Iron Wind is kind of like that uh, long lost Rel Partha uh, line of stuff, and this is a brain in a jar because you know you need a brain in a jar this one I may have to throw into a little plastic bag for uh, keeping all together so let's see if this bag will work uh, do I have another one here I probably have another bag around here someplace I can use it's always good to keep those tiny plastic bags just in case. There we go. Yeah, grab something a little bigger here. Put all the pieces in there. Brain in the jar is good because uh, you never know. Um, this could be a play, player in, <laughs> in a future game of mine. We've, uh, you know, your body got totaled, but uh, we do have your brain in a jar. And uh, here you go. Uh, we'll, we'll build you a new body later. Okay, Bob? They call him Bob because, you know, that's all he does in the, in the jars. He bobs. Sure, that is all the pieces. This is going to go into a <clears throat> batch of science fiction. So I'm pretty much done with this right now, for now, until I get some more. Oh. We got a John Bishop here, which is also science fiction. Now these guys, I usually uh, once I get them painted, everything I. Take, I cut them right off their bases and then uh, they end up uh, going on uh, clear bases because I love clear bases for when I have like my uh, table uh, open here and I've got a big screen underneath there and you can uh, you can see right through uh, the base so that's nice. So whatever ter terrain they're on, you can see under. Next. What do we got here? more stuff here. Ugh. Let's see. A lot of this has uh, <laughs> been in the collection for a while. So, uh, Frank Buck. These chronoscope ones, a uh, little bit more harder plastic. So, 
Agatha Fox. She'd be suited for a good NPC for for a crew uh, for a uh, passenger on a ship. Uh, same with uh, this one here, which is the uh, strumpet. Gotta have a strumpet in some sort of uh, game. She has um, no weapons on her, so. I will, or maybe she's got a knife. If she does, that's okay. She goes in science fiction, as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of other strumpets that are definitely um, fantasy. Uh, this is uh, androids. Gotta have some androids. Protocol droids of some form. These are male and female. Cool. Um, Wood Elf Wizard. And uh, the Pirate. Finalia, Finalia, Finalia the pirate. She will. This is that bendy uh, Reaper's bones. So dark heavens, kind of really flexible. Not a huge fan of it. I mean, paints up okay. These guys. Um. Something I could use for like my uh, Numenera uh, or uh, the Strange. Because uh, I know we have a lot of these guys in the Strange. So these guys will uh, suit awesomely. So I'm going to put him in science fiction because uh, Strange is uh, and the uh, Numenera are science fiction. So. These are both metal miniatures. So I got these as guards, Anubis guards kind of idea for that. The uh, wizard now can go into the <clears throat> he's got a very bent uh, rod he's got a bent rod <laughs> staff stave spear spear stave st stavy spear you can go in there because you need a wizard in your fantasy games well this isn't all my fantasy i have a crazy amount of fantasy stuff um not like um, overwhelming, but uh, enough tribals. These guys, I believe, they have guns, so uh, they are going to be situated in the science fiction side because there will be situations where you will be on a planet where they will have natives natives with guns and tomahawks guns and tomahawks sweet some kick-ass space natives 
I would love to play a kick-ass space native. Seriously. Yeah. Let's go on and grab some more stuff out of the magic drawer. Because I know there's more. See, told you there's more. You guys weren't going to believe me. Ah, this is, once again, a, yep, from Warlord Games, once again, these guys. Uh, I'm going to actually stick them in with the rest of these Warlord miniatures. And I'm going to throw them in a plastic package because it's a, it's a multi-pack of guys. So, um, where we go to uh, release this hound. There, pop that out. I think this is like a mortar crew or something like that. I use as my uh, my Zodani troopers. So, yep, guys without heads, mortar. Yep, yeah, it's got a mortar unit and everything. So, grab one of these plastic bags. I say it's always good to hang on to these plastic bags because you need them for like counters, uh, tokens, uh, anything. Then we got a uh, little half sandwich bags that I use every once in a while for different things because you know there's uh, always uh, game board pieces and stuff that you need to throw together. You know, sometimes it's a game like Gloomhaven where you got to go ahead and put them, you know, package everything together for one player, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, and one of these, uh, Rebri. Oh, she is, uh, like a cleric. A cleric -y cleric. So I will stick her in here. One of those rubbery uh, <laughs> miniatures that uh, Bones comes out with. Yeah, um, yeah, not a huge fan. I like these chronoscope though. Chronoscopes are uh, are awesome. These are Victorians, so this will go into my science fiction spot. Because you never know, it could be good for a Numenera game, a uh, the Strange, as well as Traveler. When you encounter that particular um, space colony that has reverted back to uh, Victorian times and steampunk, maybe. Well, well, what else can we put in the bait box? Yeah, I've uh, got a 
fair bit. So this is uh, one of my few Nucaramonda uh, kits that I would ever use. Um, I do have these guys assembled. So did I get rid of all their bits? I believe I did. So this can go with the rest of my uh, sprue material for later. And uh, this can all get, leave it empty, yep. That can all get recycled as well. And here I have more of the, uh, oh yes, these guys, more of these guys again. Uh, you know, like a battle tank kind of thing with different gun barrels and you name it uh, kind of like a drone like a big giant drone unit so I will need a uh, bag that I can use for this guy A lot of times I, I purchase stuff from uh, particular eBay um, vendors that are really good at adjusting prices when you purchase a lot of items. So you have to go in there and, and you know, sometimes you can ask them if they want to negotiate on uh, certain items. And I've met quite a few on there that will. So just email them and say, look, I would like to purchase this, 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 and this. Will you give it to me for this price? And uh, quite often they'll answer back and say, well, how about this price instead? Uh, or um, You never know, you can get a way better price than what you were expecting. So these guys... Whew, that's quite a unit. I think this is a command unit. Uh, for... Which ones are these? Yeah, there's a couple of drones in there. Command... Oh, this is... These are the Asterians. Asterians? Yeah, I think Asterians. Uh, don't quote me on that pronunciation, but that is what it is. Um, just going to clip these bases out. These are some nice hefty bases, these ones here. Putting them in the box right now so they don't go all over the place. You know, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll use all these bases or not. I, I mean, I, I will uh, for when I get in a, a bunch of these uh, uh, Mech Warrior Dark Age. Uh, minis that are coming in uh, for battle tech I guess yeah, as well as troopers you know, a bunch of troops as well uh, I scored all the really like low cost ones like the regular troops greens not the ones that are like elite and stuff like that that people normally collect so you get the cheap you know, green ones, and you can repaint them and uh, take them off the click bases and get yourself a 
army built up that way. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. As far as this goes, um, I think I will keep this in the box. As far as these go, I will put them in the spot that has all of my bases collecting up in here, if I can find it. Poker chips. Because <sighs> you never know if the game night is going to turn that way. Time to play poker, guys. Now, let's see if I have any more stuff. I think. I think that is almost all of it. Those are the Necromonda bases, um, and this is a front part of one of those Warlord Games guys. And I might just throw it in here. Uh, once again, some more of. These are World War II, uh, World War II guys. I believe I got these from uh, um, Warlord Games as well. They had a sprue sale. So I picked up a bunch of these sprues that are, uh, yeah, German and American troops. And once again, some more of these. Oh, these are like the enforcer guys. So yeah, a bunch of enforcers. Yep, more enforcers. And yeah, another set of like enforcer kind of guys here. So. I'm going to keep these all into one sprue box here. This one that I had with my uh, with my Asterians in there. This is big enough to fit all those. Now these are a little too big to go into that, that box, but I'll keep them aside <clears throat> yeah all right so that is my drawer my drawer is finally cleared out and is uh, basically brought down to pretty much this package and I think I got a couple of boxes there of uh, WizKids stuff.
this container. Whew. All right, so I've got this unit almost done. Uh, as far as uh, roughed in. Now, do I have the cannon in here for that? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. The cannon. That will go in there like so. And there's a driver. The driver who sits in here like this. Okay, guys, stay together, please. Yeah, this, uh, these I had already kind of just, uh, I used the airbrush on them, on most of it, to get the colors down on it. I still have to do, like, the camel uh, colors on them as well. guy uh, obviously is uh, science fiction so throw them in there it's more some of this stuff science fiction uh, these guys uh, this needs to go on a base because it is uh, lunky as hell more uh, science fiction. This guy's uh, apparently giving the finger to somebody. Uh, once again, more uh, Mantic miniatures here. Uh, yep. A lot of these guys. I might throw these all into a bag. They've all been uh, primed, ready to go. They're all actually original uh, plastic on these were either blue or uh, red. So you can see the original color on the bottom. Throw them into, yeah, there's a lot of these guys that I need to put in there. Now, yeah, uh, wacky aliens and everything that's out of the uh, Star Sega, along with this uh, monstrosity as well. This dude looks pretty cool. Stick him in here, I guess. Oop. Another, uh, um, I guess it must be a Reaper, Reaper Bones. Yeah, I just managed to get his face painted in a little bit. This guy with the big cannon. There you go. Some gal, which uh, should be for some interesting uh, NPC. Oh, we have a couple of kids here as well. So you never know when you need some kid minis. The big uh, bruiser here, which I think I'm going to uh, repaint slightly. Oh, we have some of the, uh, um, what are they called? Uh, raging heroes, so they need to be put on. Uh, Put on sprues. I mean, put on uh, 
bases and they are so spindly and uh, yeah they're not uh, They're not something that are, they're very delic delicate. All right, we have, uh, what's her name? Ah, she's got machine guns and stuff, so stick her in there. There's one of the Raging Hero gals again. Another Raging Hero. Oh, this gal. Metal. This is a hassle-free. Um, have to get her done. Uh, I just did a base coating on her. I haven't gotten to it yet. Finish her off. Uh, close. There's one of more of those uh, alien guys assembled. This guy is some sort of uh, can uh, photographer. So, put him in there. He is a hassle free, I believe. Uh, or something close to that. Or it might be, uh, these might be, whatchamacallit, um, the, another mini uh, outfit that does like pulp kind of stuff pulp miniatures and that sort of thing. So this in there. One more of the uh, uh, Raging Heroes. You don't can't see her very well because she's just primed in black. I did not get to dust her in uh, yeah, yet another one. Once I'm able to dust them with a white Get that zenithal highlighting going on so you can see what everything is. It would be awesome. That's yeah, an arm from one of those raging heroes. Just stick all these uh, spindles for. Uh, Floating probes and stuff like that. Look, everything else in this is a Palantine. Uh, yeah, Palantine miniature for. And I also got the uh, um, decals for them as well. Oh, look, Raging Heroes, uh, kind of a, a coaster. So, but I tell you, those uh, Raging Hero, uh, they, they're just, those miniatures, they're just so brittle. Brittle! So, I keep those here with him. So this box has been uh, emptied considerably from what I had in there. I shall go put it back onto the shelf to, to uh, collect up more minis. Oh yes, this box. <sighs> this is that other box of stuff. <sighs> Uh, here I got the the uh, my little half sandwich bags for snack snackos. There for my uh, uh, this is the lenses for my uh, my which we call it well monoculars uh, milliput. This is always good for just base. Um, this is the uh, the yellow gray. This is kind of it's not fine. It's really rough kind of stuff. And uh, I just use it to like fill in stuff on a base right away. 
that you're not like too picky about and then you put the white stuff over top of it to like do more finer uh, detail work so a uh, N95 <laughs> mask with uh, no strap on it no more ah arc always good handy stuff uh, I got my other wing for my Cthulhu. <clears throat> Three uh, minis here in a bag. So these guys are kids. Or nope, not kids. These are the Sailor Cop. These are like 25 millimeter. Set of dice. Or who knows? Ah, Brother Vinny. Brother Vinny minis. A bunch of uh, doors and stuff from uh, science fiction. Uh, minis there. Oh, this gang. This gang here, I've already colored one in, but uh, these guys, they're uh, all metal. These guys, they're hefty. They're, they're monstrous. These guys are more science fiction stuff. So I think I've got this one full as far as that one's going to go. So what I might do is pull out couple of these Should have some room here for scales so this one is full of science fiction stuff and it looks like we're gonna fill up another one with science fiction stuff this is well, gonna be my last one my last free box. So these guys I'm throw in there. This is more of the uh, um, Raging Heroes gals. Uh, we got uh, bits for uh, one of the games there. These guys just random, so throw them in there like so. These guys are more of the. Uh, these are the uh, Rangers from um, my uh, Victoria miniature so I'm gonna set them aside because I already have a box full of those guys here. This is junk. More bases than you can shake a stick at. So and once again more bigger bases. This is more of my uh, uh, Orimaru for making uh, specialized uh, pieces. I can use it to like take a uh, sample of a like a circuit board and uh, use it as part of my uh, base. Uh, you can fill it with. Uh, Oh, Crooked Dice. Crooked Dice Minis. That was what it was. Uh, some of the uh, minions and stuff for Crooked Dice. That's another good uh, place to get your miniatures. More metal bits for... Uh,
Okay, these are more Brother Vinny. Brother Vinny. Once again. This one here is from uh, Infinity. Let's see that one there. More Brother Vinny stuff. It tells Brother Vinny because it's got the uh, it's got the funky uh, um, bottoms on them. Uh, another, uh, this is uh, um, Infinity. I can tell because they are uh, metal. Ah, there we go. Uh, somebody that needs some paint. Infinity, once again, one guy I've assembled already. He's still on his sprue. Um, another um, Brother Vinny, I believe. Uh, Brother Vinny. Brother Vinny makes some good minis. The problem is uh, the time it takes for them to actually deliver is horrifying. Um, last time, uh, if you've seen my old video, that, what was it, like between nine months to a year <laughs> before I finally got them? It was brutal. Yeah, these are all uh, minis from uh, Infinity. Oop. This one is that one of those crooked gut dice guys. So he's got his head still on the uh, sprue. This one, uh, another of uh, Brother Finney. Another crooked dice. Another crooked dice. And looks like another crooked dice too, or uh, no hassle free, probably hassle free. It's hard to tell what is a hassle free and crooked dice. Although um, hassle free does have uh, their heads seem to be a little bigger on a lot of their stuff. Uh, this is another brother Vinny that's got to continue to be painted. Ah. Infinity once again. You know, I, I should actually start uh, painting some of these guys, you know, like, you know, all my. Uh, I believe, yep, another Infinity. Yep. Infinity Minity. Yeah, I got lots. Um, that need to be completed. Another infinity. Yeah. I am not buying anything for a while here. So, yeah. Once again, another uh, brother. It looks like Brother Vinny. Again. Another uh, infinity. I have all these guys to paint. So. It's stuff that needs to be done. This scale, this is for the uh, Brother Vinny Mini. Whoa, she's got her arms out, and this is what she's supposed to be carrying in her hands. Oh, this is from uh, one of my minis that uh, she's got an umbrella. I think she's in here somewhere. Here's another hot uh, Brother Vinny Mini. from one of these guys it goes in there. Oh, a spare head for somebody it's more clear bases which I should put in a bag here before I lose them Another 
bigger units. Yeah, I should not be buying anything for a while. Because that would be just damn silly. Another uh, crooked dice. <clears throat> These are the little uh, things for my... Uh, uh, goggles. The rest of this is doors and uh, material, which should be for um, For scenery and stuff, I'm gonna put these guys in here. So again, a lot of bases here, so I'm going to just pull them all out, and stick them into the correct box, for safekeeping, so you never know, you need a base, or somebody needs a base, <laughs> oh, COVID, that huh yeah I do have some Citadel paint but uh, ugh. I don't like using it it's just it's terrible stuff ah, we have a sword for somebody pull out a couple of pins out of here stuff. Okay, so I'll just throw these guys in here as well. So that box is pretty much uh, done. I'm going to put these guys in here since they are part of that set of, uh, of doors and everything. They are um, part of that. All right, so that one is yet another collection of stuff done. Now, 
here I have oh remnants of some painted miniatures stuff look a spacey ship these little bits that I have here. Ah. Somebody who didn't quite get finished painted. Uh, it's more of these uh, little guys from uh, Space Dragonflies. These are uh, drones. This is one of my printed minis, uh, Scout Chip. I started using some uh, bits from a uh, computer, uh, uh, part of a computer uh, board. Uh, I did a video on how to retrieve greebles off of uh, computer boards that way using the uh, Ori Maru, this stuff here. Uh, so this needs to go into my bag of Ori Maru. I also got a brand new, oh, let me get it here, the blue Orimaru as well from Green Stuff World. And this stuff here appears to be just spaceship bits, which was collected from a spaceship. Um, Yeah, some sort of spaceship stuff, uh, which I picked up. It was uh, from our local game store. I just, it's just a box of just random spaceship stuff. So I picked it up because there was a couple of things in there that might work out for uh, RPGs. And I will go put this stuff in the proper box. These guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, might see about uh, so this, oh, the sci fi stuff in here. So you see. Just in my bits themselves, I do have quite a bit of stuff to continue to work on. So it's always good to go through your stuff and see what, because you forget about things, right? You know, oh, I bought some of these, but Today I went ahead and I, I even did a real dummy. I'm going to probably have to put it on uh, um, eBay, but uh, I ended up picking up what I thought was a book that I did not have, uh, Bestiary from uh, Pathfinder 2, uh, the second one, 
now I have two copies of Bestiary 2. So I might have to go ahead and uh, get rid of it. Well, I'll probably go back to the store and hand it back to him and say, Ah, I already got this one. And uh, trade it for something different. Well, that's one heavy little box there. That's a lot of metal minis in there. And just that one. This thing is a monster too. So, yeah, looking at the minis box there. That's uh, it's going to be a lot of stuff to uh, sort through. Yeah, she's metal too. That's uh, nice. Oh yeah, these guys. Um, guardsman. We is the guardsman from the county. She'll fit in there, and that one, right? Yeah. So there we go. That is my case full of bits. This is not including the stuff that I have for. Uh, left over for my aliens. <laughs> uh, got a bunch of alien stuff to do. Oh, and one Gundam. Strangely enough, I do have a Gundam, which I am in the process of building. Oh, hi Ryan, thanks for uh, popping in here. I didn't even realize that you were in here. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Bless me. <clears throat> well, was that entertaining? Seeing what was in my bits box? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stop the stream now since it's been a while. And I appreciate you guys, uh, whoever, uh, Brian, everybody who has like popped in and uh, just to say something. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Sneezed a while back. That's what I expected, suspected. Um, so I'm going to come back and uh, start finishing up painting these guys with the red striping on them like uh, like such I gotta get my camera fixed because uh, I noticed that uh, what was happening with uh, this camera here is uh, I'm no longer able to zoom in anymore for some crazy reason so I may have to restart my computer and see whether or not that fixes it and uh, reconvene because I can't exactly paint these guys you know at a uh, far distance and not close up like I used to so I need to bring that back in so uh, thanks man thanks Ryan for uh, popping in um, and if you missed what this was Ryan uh, once I got this uh, video stopped check it out there's all kinds of weird stuff that I pulled out of these boxes if, if you didn't see um, but yeah, it's all nicely organized now and I can go ahead and, uh, put all this stuff, uh, um, into recycling that I need to. Ah, yeah. Thanks Ryan for popping in. So yeah. Uh, hopefully we get to see some more of your stuff, right? You need to start streaming yourselves, Ryan. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Take care guys, I'm out of here.